Hello guys and welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of The Doughboys Revival. Now we are currently sitting in 2nd place, 2 points shy of Farsley, who are currently sitting in 1st with 12. And the first thing I want to go into detail with is we have got some brand new signings. Now we go into our transfer history, as you can see here we've got 3 new guys in The Doughboys team. We have got Reese Dorr, we've got Paul Booth, we've got Mark Cook... All brought to me by our brand new director of football. Director of football? What are you doing that for, Kai? Well, I've realised that I've had an issue with this lower league management. And that is that my expectations of what players should be is far too high. In comparison to a lot of players that they actually have in these leagues, um, you need to take into account that... You know, these are taken in some of these clubs um, who, who, you know, they show up probably two times a week. This is a quick training session. They'll go, for, they'll have their football match. And, you know, they some of these teams, they'll go for a pint afterwards. But then the same game, it's also got these day in, day out training, fanatics, professional footballers. And they have to scale between the two. So where I've been looking at players, and I've been like, okay, this this guy's got three in drilling, he's got five in finishing. Well, that's not very good. But actually, in these lower leagues, um, that is the expectation standard that I should be looking at. Okay, it's a little bit higher now because we're actually we're starting to get the um, the old trainer rolling. So I've brought in this director of football to kind of give me that little nudge in the right direction. So the first two people that I want to talk to you about is Reese Dorr and Paul Booth. Now these are both defenders. Now if you want to look at Reese Dorr, the one thing that I um, noticed from my side is we do not have a dedicated right wing back, and I believe that we can do this quite easily from um, by this guy who was brought to me and I looked at his stats and I thought, Joe, what bloody hell for a sixteen-year-old? Damn right, this sign him. So, um, yeah, restore everybody. Now, Paul Booth, he's not essentially as, you know, statistic-wise and stat-wise as high and as strong as a lot of the other people. However, he does have the experience on his side. And a few years down the line, in which we'd be able to utilise a larger squad um, with quite a lot younger players quite a lot of younger players someone of his experience is going to be out as an absolutely amazing tutor so this is also someone who's going to be sitting on the bench who's going to be pushing people like like liam wall like gib like gill smith people sitting at the back botter who um has been sitting on the bench quite a lot recently he is going to be pushing them for places and lastly, Mark Cook. Now, Mark Cook is an out-and-out -out decent keeper. He, For this level, he's a decent keeper. As you can see that he's actually started at Newcastle United. And, you know, eventually he's just he's come down. And he, now he's with the Doughboys. Now he's with us. Um, and he's going to be that pressure on Logan to try and force him to play better. Um... We actually look at his stats when you compare to Logan. He is much more of a physical player. He's he's got a lot more control of that box. But where Logan's got the speed, the reflexes, Mark Cook's got the experience. He's got the mental stats. He's got those physical stats that actually push him a little bit beyond. However, with Logan being young age, the old Wolverine is going to grow up and he is going to get better. And it's going to be down to Mark Cook to push him where I need him to go. A little bit sly way, but we'll see how it works. Now I'm just going to have a look into our recent run of form and give you a recap of what's been happening. Okay, well as you can see here in the um, the Kendall match, you can see here we had most of the possession, we had most of the shots, we floored this game we put pedal to the metal any kind of expression of way of saying that we absolutely put our all into this game 
first goal you're going to see is Ryan Cook. Now, Ryan Cook perfectly fills his track. He has to roll here. You can see Vickers plays it over to Lynch. Lynch spots him in the centre and Cook finishes on the left-hand side. Clinical, perfect, expect exactly what you can expect of Ryan Cook. Luke Downs' goal. Luke Downs came on for Lynch as a shadow striker. And as you can see right here, smacks into the keeper, picks up the loose ball and buries it. Beautiful little performance there by Downs. Now, lastly, you can see is Adam Vickers. Now, Adam Vickers brought him on um, for Taylor, uh, who went injured. And you can see Cook out of that truck, he has to roll, puts it in, spots his partner inside. Vickers, I had no doubt that Vickers was going to finish it. Okay, and now on to our 5 2 goal craze thing going on at Spennymore. Now, you first got first thing you see across here is we need to look at the actual times that we scored 26, 4, 33, 47, 58, 75. We scored five goals before they came back with another two. I'm not going to go into much detail exactly how these goals here. You can see here our, our main striker, Alfie Taylor, is on form once again. It's great to see Taylor in form again. I want to put I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to slow this down so you can truly appreciate this goal. This is by James Armstrong from Spennymore. He takes a free kick, comes straight out, and he just... Oh, just watch. That is Premiership quality strike. That is... I sat back in my chair and I thought, wow, what a goal. Okay, and the third and final game to recap for you guys is the 2-1 victory over Paddyham. Now, I'm not going to go into detail with all these goals. I'm going to show you the one, and that's from Craig Lynch, and that's simply because they were penalties. There were mistakes in the box, that were capitalised, and then they did the same back to us. But Craig Lynch's goal, very much taken into that track of to roll. Browner puts the cross into Gill. Gill spots him running into the centre. Look at that. Boom. Straight in the goal. Took all three points home. Well, we were already at home. Took all three points and just cinched the victory. Okay, guys. So it is Warrington at home to Wellingborough. We need to go into this game full guns blazing. We need to absolutely not smash them, but we need to win very, very comfortably so we can start chasing Farsley on the, that goal difference. If I go into the team selection, you can see changes that I have made is that I'm bringing Door into that um, right wing back position, as I expressed to you my intention of using him. Um, I've also got Wall and Webb uh, playing a dual partnership in the back. Um, other than that, it's not really that much of a change. If you can see on the bench, I've brought on Mark, I've got Mark Cook and I've got Paul Booth sitting there waiting to show me what they can do. And of course, I've got Mark Harvey, who's going to be He's got buckets of potential. Adam Vickers, Mike, Mickey Bowles, you know, people you're very, very familiar with. And I've put the thing as teamwork. Why I've put it as teamwork is because... Well, to be completely honest, I wanted to see what it was going to do. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what... I, I don't know what the team cohesion is actually like. So I was just trying it, to be completely honest with you. So let's submit that team. Right, Wellingbrook could fall out of the playoff places if they lose to one and results go elsewhere. Results elsewhere go against them. Uh, the two evenly matched teams, I think a draw looks the most even likely result. We are 11 to 5. We are not the favourites. We're close, but we're not the favourites. It wouldn't be a bad bet if I was a, a betting man. Now, looking at um, Warrington, um, the, the first thing that strikes me is the fact that they play in yellow and blue. So I'm hoping today we are going to be able to debut our away, our away kit. Yes, yes we are. We are sporting the black and yellow today. As you can see, they're playing standard 4 4 2 We're using the, um, the duo striker role as inspired by um, Stat. Go into the oppositions. I've already set this up beforehand. Do a quick team talk. We're a good run here. We are on a good run here. So impress me. And let's go. 
let's wait for it to, there we go. Okay, now let's, at least that's 83% of possession, that's only because we uh, took the kickoff. But sorry, we've had a shot already, on target. Farsley at 1-0 up. Come on boys, we've still got the possession, we're still keeping it up. Oh, a bit of a jump on target. Nice to know that Logan's actually going to be informed today, hopefully. Oh, they've got another shot. Okay, Warren's are pushing us. They're applying the pressure early. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, I'd love to see the replay of that. I bet Logan's shaking himself as much as the crossbar. Go on, put some pressure, put some pressure. Yes, nice challenge, Ramsey. Go on, run onto it, Taylor. Oh, he's been pushed off. Nah, I thought it went out of play, apparently not. Okay, don't let him get the counter. A nice defence wall. Taylor, put his cook. Cook, yes! Cook on the far side post. Lovely. Ah, oh, let's watch the replay of that. As you can see here, Letty sets up Taylor. And that track we has to roll. I'm sorry, but it's Ramsey, but it's Taylor. That track we has to roll for partnership. And Cook using that left foot. Smack it. Oh my God, near enough top corner. Batman Ryan Cook, how many times have I said that? Okay, keep it the defence, guys. Nice clearance, Ramsey. Push some pressure on him. Oh, on the far post. Who was marking him? Oh, that's painful. Lost his marker. Oh, Jesus. With a little setup like that, though that lack of actually looking into, oh my god, Liam Wall's injured. That lack, you know, those situations which you deserve to let in a goal, not good, not good at all. Okay, so do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to bring on Paul Booth. We can see what Paul Booth can do. Oh, shot up there on the uh, the old suitability. Let's confirm the sub. Go on, Booth, see what you can do. So, it looks like we're going to be going into the second half. Level pegging. Oh, God, I said Booth. I thought that was our Booth then. <laughs> it's strange, I've got this new guy, but all I know is the name is Booth. Something Booth. And I see an injury. I'm like, oh, they keep it up, guys. Keep it up. We'll start going into the later um, put into um, the Kai Bamboo signature overdrive, not overload, overdrive, and see if we can uh, get another goal in there. But as long as we keep it, oh my god, he's really keeping up the pace. Go on. Nicely done. That um, door, Reese door, has really, really got some pace on him. Be able to backtrack that fast. Oh, he's looking exhausted. I can imagine so. It's his debut match. Go on. Go on. Oh. <laughs> Third try lucky. Leddy. Let's watch it. Straight at the keeper. Oh, the keeper didn't even... Should have caught on to it. Oh, and the reflect deflection. Yeah. I'm sorry. You, you pull it back. You... You deflect it back into the um, the path of the strike who just strike the ball. You're really not going to command that too well. And we are capitalising on that little mistake there. They are really pushing forward, aren't they? We really need to make some changes. Ooh, don't know what's about to happen there, but we're making some changes nonetheless. Hey, Restore is very, very tired. Very tired. I'm going to have to put out Leon Park. I don't think I've got anyone else that can really fill that role suitably. I thought I'd have that um, Smith, but I rested him so we could see how Booth did. Unfortunately, because of the air situation, we managed to bring him on. Now we've got both. I don't know if we had John Gill. John Gill could have done better out there, actually. Let's undo that. I prefer Gill up there. At least he actually gets up there and just can score some goals. He's been doing fairly frequently uh, last season, getting us last-minute winners. 
Um, let's see, do you know what Tim Ramsey is doing? Right, he's doing right. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with, guys. We're just going to do the one change. If we get a little bit later on, we're still uh, holding the lead. Might do another one just to uh, buy some time. Oh, I was going to say that was offside if that went through. Don't go offside. Oh, Lynch, he wasn't offside. Lynch was not offside. <laughs> but Lynch was not offside. Oh. This is why I should not be a referee. I'd be terrible at it. Right, okay, so we're getting a little bit on now. Oh, please don't let go now. Don't let go. Nice. Go on, put some more pressure. Yes, good save, Logan. Good hands. Get out. Go on, counter attack. Counter attack. Got four of you up there. Go on. Oh, Ryan Cook on the near side. Oh, that was beautiful. Let's see that. Let us see that. Ramsey through ball into Cook. Runs onto it. Near side. Oh, smashes it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are we going to get another? Are we going to get another? Gil! <laughs> I'll put Gil on because I know he'll get up there. Huh? You know, he's capable of scoring some goals. He scored some goals last season and he's done it again for us. Puts it straight into the path of Gil and just smashes it home. You're not going to expect anything else from that. They made that mistake last time. They did it again. Oh, come on. Give us another one. Give us another one. Put a big smile on my face. Come on, boys. What are you trying to lob the keeper there? What are you trying to do, Browner? Get the ball back. Pressure. Oh. Free kick. Oh, did he take down Cook? Is he off? Deal with that. Guys, you're off you're offside, guys. Three of you are offside. What are you doing? Oh now you're onside. That's better. Oh that was cheeky. Smash it, smash it, smash it. <laughs> we had so many chances to increase this score line. Go on. Go on, yes! <laughs> and Lynch to seal it up for us. 5 1 to the Doughboys. Oh, beautiful. From a game that started off as a very, very defensive, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, moment. Oh, look at that slide from Taylor. Webb through to Lynch, completely open. Oh, I would have thought if, I would have thought Webb would have gone for it. Oh, that was beautiful. Great teamwork there. Could take him, take him. Yeah, that's it. 5-1 to the Doughboys. Oh, I asked. I asked for a performance. I asked for us to smash them. They prevailed. They did exactly what I wanted. Beautiful. Beautiful. It was an amazing performance. Absolutely amazing. We did manage to catch up on the goal difference with um, Farzi, though, who... Um, I don't know, we've caught up one. We've caught up one. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Although we're still applying the pressure, so we can't really complain much about that. We are second. We've got a point gap between third and two and three points between fourth. So we are currently in that playoff position. Man of the match, Ryan Cook, rating a 9.4. Oh, I tell you what. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... If I can't find a face for Ryan Cook, I'm going to look through my files and I'm going to get him a face because that man deserves some recognition. Let's progress and get a little bit more of a uh, view of what's going on in the league right now. So as you can see there, yeah, 
comfortably sitting in the um, playoff zone. It is only five games in. Yeah, okay. It's very, very early days. And I'm going to be doing a great lot of um, work in the background offline. You know, just off camera rather. I'm just going to smash a few matches through. Try and get us through. I'm going to find out when the uh, FA Files is going to start up again. But that was an amazing performance. Absolutely amazing. As you can see here, the average ratings. We're in the top... We've got three guys in the top four. Granted, we're not in the top, top goal scorers, but still, wow. Awesome. Anyway, guys, that's... Um, that's Season 2, Episode 2 of The Doughboys Revival. We are playing Bamba Bridge. We're sitting in third currently... And we are going to increase that that gap. Hopefully, hopefully increase that gap. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. See you later. Goodbye.